that up on this screen. Those Wonder Woman previews, are, uh, it makes me excited about Wonder Woman. They're really good. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things. Like, so, I mean, we did see We Are Live now, right? Yeah, We Are Live. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was one of those things. I was going to share it. So it is one of those things where, like, there's captains coming back. <laughs> Because um, Superman we saw was a captain, right? Yeah, he goes in one. Mm-hmm. Well, that's super good um, with some of the Fantastic Four pieces. <laughs> right. Super good. Like... So, like, so, like, just, like, as a spoiler. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, that's where I've been, and I've been saying it the whole time, like, I don't think that I can rate a sidekick below, like, a B. Yeah. Just because of the future. Because, like, because, like, Right, because, like, here's the thing, right? Like, we do these tier makers to say, okay, when the set retires, we go back and look at these tier makers two, two years from now and say, hey, how accurate were we? Yeah. But we also, I mean, a way to... we also have to keep in mind that we can't future-proof fully these things. I mean, we don't know... What set comes after Wonder Woman? We could get another Fantastic Four set or like a cosmic set that has everybody in it or something, you know? So, and they could have sidekick things that make it even better or, but yeah, I mean, if it's something where... It makes it harder for sure. Yeah, definitely. Where it's like, okay, is it just, this is missing one little (laughs) thing that we might get at some point? You almost have to like think about the odds of getting future pieces when rating yeah. some of these like especially when you're thinking about keywords like oh animal is not great right now but hey what if we get like a turtles really comes animal. turtles comes back or something it's like ah maybe way better now maybe right you know i wonder if the if that's why animal just got so much worse is because we lost all the ninja turtles <laughs> Um, what was it? Well, we lost, there was like King Shark, there was Whales, um, right. what else was there? Tribbles. These are good keywords. Yeah, that helped. Well, it, well, so I don't know if the 25 cent turtles were animal or not. I'm going to look real quick. Probably. I just um, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know that for sure. But yeah, the TMNT4 turtles... Uh, no, they weren't. No, they they were martial artists, TMNT and TMNT ally. So that's dumb. Yep. So, but I mean, every turtle set had at least fifteen animals that they put on there. Sure. Like, sure. Oh, well, they were all animals. Like we have Lockjaw right now. He's good. Ghost Rider. The, that's the mammoth Ghost Rider. So no one's <laughs> yeah. No one's writing home about that one. I feel like. I want to look at that again. It's got to. No, it can't no. be that bad, right? It is. Yeah, it's Sorry. just we. I feel like we just had better pieces. Like you had Throg for a while that could do things, and Gertrude and Old Lace that could do things, and then obviously Chipmunk Hunk. Oh, sure, sure, sure. sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> Devil Dinosaur. He saw play. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. There's more. Titano, I guess. Streaky. Oh, oh man. Clarion Witch Boy. Ace the Bat Hound. I love that piece. Mm, that's true. How many people we got right now? Uh, we got about four. It's kind of late, so it's not surprising yeah. we don't have a ton of people. So. Yeah, it is late, but, I mean, once we get this up and people watch it, and we'll get on YouTube and... It'll go over. I think it'll go over really well. We got up to five people. Now they're rolling in. Yeah, Jess, uh, Jesse Cote says uh, Tigra or Tigra was good. Yes, she was. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I still have I, she? I have her right here. Tigra? Yeah, let's see the chase is. one from AI. Yeah, here she is. Oh, yeah, she was right there. <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got her right here. Yeah, she was the one that uh, when she hit, she gave out charge. Yeah. Uh, and blades. She was good. I liked her, but I never played her. But well, I never played her competitively, but I played her 
locally or right. something Randy like that. Carter played her a lot. And she annoyed me. <laughs> That's what I remember about her. Yeah, she was. Well, she Randy, was. What was it? Randy played the chases with Haha ha Joker that one time. Yeah. And like you played Wales against him, and he didn't hit a single super sense roll. That is true. I do remember that. Like literally, like I remember, like you chewed through a fifty point Ha Ha Joker with like yeah. a rail. I felt real and, bad like, about that game. I think he missed like over ten in a row. Like, like of course, this is like a fishing story, right? The yeah. The uh, the uh, it gets bigger over time. <laughs> um, next year it'll be twenty, but you know. <sighs> All right, we want to start tier making it up, tier ranking. Yeah. So we don't have any cool, we don't have any cool pictures this time. But I, I almost think that this might be a little bit better because you can actually see names Tell. and know who is who. Yeah. Yeah, because I was very lost last time. <laughs> yeah. With the pictures, I was like, <laughs> I have not seen these pieces in person. Yeah, because you had uh, what Doctor Cecilia Ray, and then mother were similar scopes i think yeah yeah you had quite a few scopes that were very similar which is what they do every set <coughs> uh so tyler do you want to start us off is this is kind of your thing i just set up the pogs for you so yeah um this is our team maker we did it last time we're going to try to do it um sort of like right before or at the release of every set um just get a snapshot of where we think everything is going to land um this is very specifically meta um so when we put things in trash know that they can still be used as a as a casual piece just we're talking about the meta they probably won't be used is our opinion um and then hopefully we haven't decided when but eventually we'll go back and sort of revisit and see you know how wrong we were and everybody can laugh at us so what are the different tiers that we've been uh using? tiers are oh man Hold on, I can pull that up. Actually, I have my old thing pulled up still. Yeah, because we obviously <laughs> got to keep the tiers <laughs> consistent between yeah. every tier maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> D pull. is suddenly for Dawson. Yeah, what, what, when we come back a year from now and we realize how wrong we were on some, we're like, yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, we it was in reverse. <laughs> yeah. D, D is decent. C is cool. B is badass. A is awesome. And S is sweet. Can't go wrong with all those tiers. <laughs> yeah. Man, I can't find the... I was trying to pull up the last one that I did. Um, but now I'm not able to find it on Facebook. Like the last... Um, Tier maker list because that would have had all of them. Like, are you looking for specifically the the post we made about um, it? Well, that the actual last list, the the links are still working. It has all of the descriptions on it, like precisely. Oh yeah, I can find that. Hold on. Yeah, you think I could, but <laughs> not letting me. Uh, so how do you see the list? What do you mean? Like where does it say the what each tier is? Um, it'll be on. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here oh, it is. Yeah. All right. So here's our House of X one. S is will definitely be on winning builds consistently and will be a meta <laughs> staple. A is will most likely be on a winning build and will at least make top cuts consistently. B won't be on winning builds but could make some top cuts. C won't make top cuts, but could be tried in a regional or a win a map, and then D utter trash. No one ever try it. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah. So I think the big cutoff is from um, A to B, because B is you're saying it's probably not going to win. Um, a and up is is you think it's going to be on winning builds for major events. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. S is definitely going to be con winning consistently. You're gonna see it on quite a few teams, and then, uh, I, yeah, I guess B and C are kind of the harder ones. I feel like, like yeah, definitely. C, you yeah. might see people trying in different teams, <laughs> and you know, maybe win a win a map yeah. with it or or something. But 
Yeah, I think the best bet is just to go ahead and start it off and just yeah play around with it. All right. Um, number one, Mr. Fantastic, uh, the captain. Mm-hmm. So it's one of those things, like I was talking about before we went live, like, and, uh, like, how do I want to say this? Like, all these long dial Fantastic Four keyworded captains and all of the sidekicks, almost all for me are going to go into B. Just, I don't have any question about that, that, like, someone's going to be putting Mr. Fantastic in for the form the Fantastic Four at either point value, right? <laughs> you know, he might be coming out every game, but he's there, right? The fact that he's 40 or 60 mm. allow the capabilities in and out. Yeah, for sure. Um, um. And for specific to Mr. Fantastic, I think him granting sidekicks leadership it makes him just a solid B. I mean, he, yeah. he's, he's there. Yeah, I agree with that. Just because it's mainly the... Uh... The sidekick thing. Um, I'm not sure how much you'll see on Fantastic Four, just because he doesn't really offer <laughs> that much um, to Fantastic Four specifically. But the the trade is enough to put him in B for me because we're getting more sidekicks and people are gonna try it. Um, and we should also reiterate when we're doing these rankings, we're all, and kind of like our set review, it's gonna be based off. Also, we're keeping new rules in mind as well mm -hmm. with these, in case anybody was like thinking we were doing a tier ranking for the next two, <laughs> two months yeah uh, but i agree uh at Maybe. least i don't i don't agree that i i may not agree all captains will be at least b tier but i yeah, do I know, like yeah. the sidekicks can use leadership that's potentially giving a 10 good point character leadership is really good like giving a lot of 10 point characters potentially a leadership is good right yeah so because you could play four sidekicks for 40 points and got four tries to get leadership off of your main fantastic four person yeah which so is it's pretty crazy yeah so that that's good real good um invisible woman um uh, i wanted to say trash agreed i am yeah yeah just this is it's a decent dial for that many points but then no she doesn't really do much for anything um the thing though the thing so this is why we mentioned the new rules part, because as of <laughs> right now, he's kind of, eh, he's not bad, but new rules, way better, because of the change better. to close combat expert. It's such a solid dial for, for 30 points. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, I think he's good enough I, to put in C for me. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably a safe place to put him, right? Yeah. Maybe I mean, like, or skull I, something I, later down the line. Scrawl, sorry. Right. That'd be I mean, cool like, if, if we I get a skull that, team. That I see if I if I see someone that went that top eights with the super scrolls and has a thirty point thing on there. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I would probably go see also. I'm not I'm not super feeling them, but I get it. Like, scrolls got a lot of boost or a decent boost from this set. So I think he definitely makes those teams. It's just they're not good. Well, I mean, <laughs> not having to deal with pushing damage, the uh, bump the close combat expert, he gets the uh, the six rollout from yeah, scrolls. Yeah, he definitely gets better. Yeah, that's good. Like all of that is good. So just not great. Yep. Uh, fantastic. Or sorry, <laughs> Human Torch. Um, he's another captain. This one is awful. He is straight D to me. Yep, straight to the D. Yeah. Barriers free, but only to Jason. Yeah, maybe if that barrier had done something. Yeah. <laughs> Besides or just could... being one barrier. <laughs> yeah, maybe like poison or something like that. But no, he's not good. And this um, is a, this isn't going to be entertaining if we agree on everything, guys. <laughs> All right, Spider Man. Well, we'll get to a Watu eventually. Spider Man. That's true. <laughs> Spider-Man's B, because Super Senses is solid. And he's got Perplex. That's not bad. That's really not bad. I feel like giving all the sidekicks... <laughs> I, I guess the question is, is like, your sidekicks, though, I mean, you want them... You don't want them to die 
I guess it depends on how you're using the sidekicks. If you're using them for, like, Herbie, then you don't want a super sense out of him. Um, you still do, because if they're wanting to kill it, you want them to not... You want, you know, wasting, wasting the attack is better than it being on its last click, I think. Well, no, because you want... Herbie only activates if they're gonna die. Yeah, but if they're attacking it, they're gonna attack it again. Like, they're, they're trying to kill it, and you want to delay that. It's still... It, it's, it's fine if it dies, but it's still better if they just waste their attack, I think. I think... I think because of how I feel like sidekicks will be played, I'm going to put him as a C as opposed to B. I'm putting him in C as well, well because his, his dial's awful. Actually, <laughs> now that I think about it, we might get... No, nah, I'm putting him in B. Uh, because we know that Wonder Woman has sidekicks, and if we get sidekicks with the Wonder Woman team ability... Which we probably will. Super then that makes us way better. A super sense on a true. four through six is great. So. That's true. Right, which is which is totally why I already had him in B. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's just hard for me to justify spending forty points on that dial, so I'm gonna stick him in C. Um, She Hulk, Shulk. Let's return. Not B. Shulk, not the B lead player. B. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dard Dag Nabbit. <laughs> uh, Fantastic Four Celebrity? Yeah. She's, yeah, D. Just a beat stick. Yeah, I agree. There's a better 75 point She Hulk. Yep. For that uh, point. Ant Man. Scott Lang, Ant Man. I like him better D. than She Hulk. But that doesn't mean he's out of D. It does not. I feel like when we did our set review for these weirdo Fantastic Four for four minutes, we were we were not thrilled with those. No. <laughs> no. Um, I think it would have been better like if there were still IDs. Yeah, for sure. A lot of these are. Um, Medusa's probably the worst of these four for four figures. Yeah, I mean, can we go lower than D? Nope. <laughs> Okay, Ooh, then D it is. He's trash. All right, robot thing. Thing robot. You made me want some Wendy's now. Doesn't the Wendy's I have know, a 4 the 4 for 4? Four four? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to mm. go get some Wendy's. Yeah. Thing robot's right. an A for me. Oh. I, I, I can't... I can't go with an A until I see what the new object rules are going to be. And remember, A is will most likely be on a winning build and will at least make top cuts consistently. I think if someone is playing Thing Robot, they have it figured out. Like, they're not playing him to fill up points, necessarily. Like, they're playing him with sidekicks and have a, a set team down. So Kinda. I, like, like, on a Fantastic Four team, you could just throw this guy on and a 10-point sidekick, and then you have you can carry this guy up and then make an attack for 30 points. True. That's pretty good for 30 points. 10 so, for 4 right. is just insane to me. So. All right. Well, I'll, I'll go to A2. You don't, oh, you I, don't I, have you got, to. You got, no, I mean, you're right, though, right? Because you can leave one of these guys that are coming up right in the back. Mm -hmm. And then you're right. For one, you can carry him, power action, the guy in the back, and then he's... And J Jason I'm... chimed in in chat to say also Thing Robot is an A. He also agrees. Uh, <laughs> I am putting him in C. Wow. I don't think he's good. I don't think he'll see play. It's wow. too many. It's too. It's too costly, action wise to to be useful. I think. See, I'm I'm also trying to future proof myself when we get that captain that gives all the sidekicks autonomous. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that would be pretty good. You guys know, almost know what's going to happen, right? I don't know that. I don't. It seems we're good. Maybe, I doubt it. I doubt it's a just cross the board, all sidekicks get autonomous. But maybe, like, free action, choose one sidekick to gain autonomous this turn. Or free, something like that. Free action, free action, <laughs> all, of your all of your sidekicks gain autonomous this turn. Uh, maybe if that's a power that's just action. All, that's the same thing as all. <laughs> yeah, power action. That might be something. Um, yeah, you know, that'd be cool. We'll see. I don't. I just don't think it's good enough. Um, Leech sidekick. 
His name is James or Jimmy. He has no last name. Um, so, oh, man, you, I've got to be convinced that a 20 point outwit is a B. Mm. Oh. And just as a reminder, B won't be on winning builds, but could oh. make some top cuts. I don't. So do you see a sidekick team that uses this? Or Fantastic Four, or X-Men, or whatever. Yeah, the X-Men helps him a little bit. And, and, and keep in mind, we only are rating this at 300 modern. Yes. Yeah. So, the, so the fact that he has a Golden Age ID card does not factor into our decision making. <laughs> good point, good point. Um, I think I'm going C. There are better sidekicks to me. I'm also and... going C. Yeah, I'm I agree. Stick with B, guys. I want to stick with B. That's fair. That's fair. Like they're they're benching powers, in like a couple of years, you know, we're going to be digging out in our shovels of CUR for all of our leeches because they benched out wit for ten months. He has all. He has decent. He has good named keywords, so he he most likely will have prob as well, um, which isn't that bad. Yeah. Uh, Meek. I like Meek. Yeah, I would put Meek as B. Ten points to get an exploit, uh, stealth, so you could throw him up front and in, in, in hindering and try to block lines of fire. But yep. just ten points for four clicks, man. That's just too good. The reason I, I almost put Leech in B before, but twenty points to me was just too much when you have all these ten pointers. So I what put. About... Yeah, that's why I did too. So I put Mick or Meek in or Mike in B. Yeah, me. I put him in B too. Just imagine fifteen of these guys and fifteen Moloids. You're done. That's a team. Well, you no. might not win yeah, map with I mean, that yeah. in new rules. Oh true. <laughs> it's plus three. <laughs> yeah, I mean I mean Mick is B for me i mean 10 points four clicks it's the same thing with 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 vile bill whatever yeah yeah pretty much uh, i mean thing. it's it, it's it's 10 points for four clicks with toughness true that's, that's going to be 11 for three in the new rules mm -hmm. like um we i don't think we i think we would <laughs> all agree that superman robot at 10 points is a tier yeah yeah because, I mean, he's got Superman uh, ally and range. So you take that away and add on three more clicks. You've got Vile, Bill, whatever his name is. And Atlantis has been getting some love recently. And, it, like, it's not nothing that he has that keyword. Or the Dolphin symbol. And, no. it, and that goes and that goes across uh, Marvel and DC, too. And it, I, I don't see any reason why it still won't going forward. Yeah, for sure. Now is the dolphin symbol still the like it's it hasn't gotten better in the new rules, right? It's just no. kind of the same. It, yeah, it's basically We haven't we should expect an errata or an update to it. I don't think so. Um uh because well it doesn't it's not going to give improved movement water anymore. Yeah, I think uh, it's because it's... it's not Oh, sure. But we're still expecting it to be plus one defense and water. Yeah. Yes. Well, plus one defense from range and water, isn't it? Or is it just plus yeah, one? Yeah, no, it's, in, it's, range, it's range. Now, if it gave plus one, period, Static. then that makes Dolphin way better. And I hope they do that, because Dolphin's always been like, oh, <laughs> look, my figure's got Dolphin. How funny. Like, you rarely ever built around it, or were like, okay, I'm going to go to go to a water map now that I have uh, one... I... My whales love dipping their toes in the pools on Iceberg Lounge. I'm just letting you know that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then there was that there was that time that guy took you to uh, Flashpoint Flood with your whales. That's true. <laughs> well, they're 19s. Not bad. Um, uh, mad Thinker. Mad Thinker, real quick. Jeremy says uh, dolphin rules are poopy now, right? <laughs> so do we? Uh, I mean, it's just like it. It, it didn't really change them too much. Um, it just made it so that everybody can move through water now, which is a little weird, but whatever. Yeah. So my ranking of um, 
the mad thinker is slow, is solely related to the prime. <clears throat> okay. Because you you, you got to have the un, the common. Like I think if you didn't have the trait on the prime to go to the uncommon, or to go to the common, uh-huh. then it wouldn't be quite as good. Sure. So, uh, I'm going with the A B A and B side. I think that's an A. Because of that, and the sideline active thing, I probably agree. Hmm. I mean, we were. Just, Dan was just talking about how a twenty point outwit is good. Well, this is a twenty point outwit and perplex for robots. That's true. Yeah. So I mean, for me, it's B minimum. Uh, the question is: Is robot scientist Fantastic Four going to see a lot of play? I feel like yes. yeah. So I feel like you <laughs> yeah. have to put them A because yeah. there's just going to be. I mean, at least I do because there's just so many. Those are three good keywords right now. And Fantastic Four and Minions of Doom team ability, that's it's pretty spot on. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's good. Yeah. All right, so... Prime. Yeah, the Prime Mad Thinker, I think for me, go, he's maybe my first S tier. Well, I I think if if he's S, you, he's got to be... You got to have the A side with it. I think they're a pair. Um... Kinda, because you're always using the common if you're using the prime. But yeah, that seems like kind of a cheap way to get to S. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, don't be, don't be doubting the mad thinker's ways here. Yeah, I mean, I'm an he's S mad. Gatekeeper. He, is, he is a he is a mad thinker here. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm writing them separately. I, I don't really care that it's you know. If you play the prime, he's gonna have the the guy on the sideline. He may not if you have a full sideline and you just don't can't yeah, yeah, fit yeah. him for whatever. I don't know why you would do that, but it is still. hard for me to put somebody in S when they are very, very specifically tied to a keyword. They're not a generalist at all. You know what I mean? Right. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. So I I would agree that for me they're just solid A, right? Um throughout his entire time in modern right yeah it's just like he's obvious he goes on every or almost every robot build like he's very very good um but robots I, start to lose things yeah making a very so heavy modern. claim about robots if i put him in s well robots have been <laughs> winning though i mean you have it, winning yeah. teams tennessee states was won by robots right no it was won by spider-man family spider-man fan- well okay but <laughs> but it it was it was it was, it was using Leonardo and Penny, Penny yeah. right? But you know what I mean, like it's cl- he's yeah. close to S. If he was more general in any way or could fit on any other team, he'd be S for me. But he's really like cool. if his prob was just for anybody, well, yeah, or yeah, I think just the the robots don't have another prime they typically play with. So for me, it's just like this is a no brainer for robot teams he does go on every robot team that's fair he's real close to me yeah and a tier most likely will be on a winning build and will at least make top cuts i feel like robots going forward they'll probably probably be a robot team in top cuts if not winning consistently that's fair but that's fine um valeria c I said I was going to put... Y'all are talking me out of having my sidekicks in B. <laughs> I, I just think there's a... You could, I think you can't go wrong with... like they're, they're all C minimum for me. It's just some may be better than others, so I put them in B. Yeah. I think Franklin's in C, too. 20, Franklin in B? 20 in... <laughs> So Franklin wait, and B. Ty, uh-huh. Tyler, do you put Valeria and C. Dan, what did yes. you ultimately say with Valeria? C. C. C? Twenty points. Man, Tyler, 
I was going to go with C because I was just y'all are peer pressuring me. I, I wanted well, to have Franklin and B. He's tw he's TK for twenty points with sidestep, which is huge. He's got good keywords with cosmic and fantastic four, and like he can get better. I know Valeria can too, but it's just like sometimes you you just need TK on your team. I am I'm almost wondering if he needs to go in A tier. Is that crazy? <laughs> yes. And maybe not. I don't I, know. I'm just thinking of him in Thing Robot. Like, if you're yeah. playing a, side, a sidekick team, you want Franklin on there to TK Thing Robot up. Robot moves up 7, so that's a 13 range. And then you have one of your other sidekicks power action to punch him. Or maybe. Use, use the punch. I, I'll maybe. keep him in B, but it's like a high B for me. If you put uh, him with Reed Richards, then he's a cosmic leadership. Reed Richards isn't cosmic, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean he has sidestep too, which helps pick up objects. That's another benefit. I know that seems minor, but he can. No, I mean the thing is, is like you pair him with, you know, the rare Franklin, and now he's power cosmic. And I think his main like... problem is for ten more points you get Valeria, <laughs> right? <laughs> that seems as his main problem. You mean that you chase the 30 point Valeria? Yeah, BVD. But she doesn't have uh, TK. Right. The, oh, yeah, uh, I just assume she does because she always gets Yeah, no, spin. she does not have TK. She has leadership and perplex <coughs> and right. the, the free move. I think the biggest issue is that Cosmic already has good TKers. Like, obviously, Oz um, is by far the best. But we're going to lose them sooner rather than later. So I feel like Franklin goes up for Cosmic maybe later. If Cosmic gets more hyper attacking and, you know, doesn't need a couple turns to equip. I just think it's fine now. If there, like, there are some teams you just need TK on. And twenty point, you're paying 20 points for it. That's as good as you're going to get, I think. Yeah. I mean, once again, we mentioned this before. Like our last, our last time, our, in the House of X one, remember when everyone was super pumped up for Mercury from World's Finest because yeah. he was a twenty-five point TKer. They're like, "This is the best thing ever," and we're like, "Franklin Richards, twenty-point TKer." Eh, eh, well, certain instances maybe. True. So that's why, yeah, B for me. So at least these All next right. two are easy. Jack D, Katie D. We're going to be, I'm worried we're going to be, like, surprised by somebody playing a power pack team. Not a power pack I, team, but but I agree. These these next two. I will, I will go ahead and say this again. Uh -huh. If someone wins, um, I'm going to call it states or an in-person tournament uh -huh. um, of recognizable stature, right? That's a <laughs> sure. that's a that's a that's a qualifier. Mm -hmm. That's a, a state. Regional. That's a, a regional, a WKO, worlds. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, if they can win one of those with a power pack theme team, they will be able to have a an entire episode of their choosing. I mean, if someone wins worlds with a power pack team, WizKids should be like, <laughs> WizKids should come in and be like, here, we are bringing back, a, we're going to make a power pack team base specifically yeah. for you, and we're going to bring back this broken mechanic because somehow you beat everyone with a power pack team. <laughs> That's right. So I will go ahead and say that now, that if someone wins one of those events with a power pack theme team, uh, they can determine what we talk about for an entire podcast. Not only will they have a spot on, because that's you know we kind of give out spots whenever people want them, whenever they want to join us. Uh, but they can dictate the agenda for an entire podcast. What if they only want to talk about Power Pack? <laughs> <laughs> we will happily oblige. Yes, yes, we will happily oblige. All right, uncommons. Um, Mr. Fantastic, I think he's oh. the. For the same reasons that yeah, um, empower empowers huge plasticity and shape tie, change. Uh, what? Which one did you huge. say, Tyler? I'm sorry. What? Uh, C. C. Okay. C. Yeah, I'm reason. I'm putting him in C also. Yep, just solid. 
Um, Captain Invisible, Invisible Woman. Oh. Uh, D. D. Bad. Bad. Uh, replacing him with an uh, 18. Yeah, because <coughs> the, the thing is just better. TK, though? No, you've got a Franklin for that. I would say because pushing damage is going to be gone, I'd put her as D. If you could still push, like TK out the next turn push to get to barrier prob That's like definitely better. and sidestep i'm way on board with that but that doesn't exist currently. or if you were just able to push to a 19 are you yeah. talking about her at 40 i'm yeah no her? i'm not playing her at 60 i, I would play her at oh, 40 I, I think 60 would be a qual. i think 60 would be a consideration for the 19 defend if she but push, yeah. if she could push and, and that's just not the case so yep uh, the Thing, Captain. Captain Thing. It's I'm, really hard to look at the Thing not... after we saw Superman give out invulnerability. He only goes us to one, though. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that's true. <coughs> well, it's kind of hard to look at the Captain Thing dial after looking at the 30-point thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I know the two different things, so I mean, I think that this thing is, is a D. I think so, too. I'm going to put C... Only because it's a map-wide psychic toughness. We yeah. know damage overall is going to be going down a little bit because Perplex doesn't do damage anymore. So maybe toughness get toughness inherently gets a little bit of a boost. So yeah. there okay. might be some instance where you're like, hey, I've got all these <laughs> naked super-sensed sidekicks. I might play Thing to be able to... Man, that's just a weird sentence. It is. So... <laughs> Um, uh human torch <laughs> human torch is uh d for me i don't know rce man yeah I, could... yeah I mean he's 11 for four those are pretty good stats he's got barrier he'll have the shape change on a six i think i think he's probably a d c minimum for me give scrolls yeah. barrier He's a decent long range attacker, a decent attacker for thirty yeah, points. Yeah, but those, uh, but those uh, super scrolls have barrier for free if they choose the Invisible Woman. So the, 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 yeah, they, but don't, I mean, they don't need they don't need barrier inherently. I just think thirty points for eleven for four is just too good on a, a scrolls team that doesn't scrolls doesn't have amazing range if I remember correctly. Like, yeah, that's true. They have decent, and this guy's only <coughs> decent, I guess, if you think six range, four movement, running shot, but still, 11 for four for 30 points. If I put the thing on there for 30 points for 11 for four, close range, I feel like I have to do that for the Human Torch long range. That's fair. Still C. I, I mean, I'm not saying yeah, he's yeah, great. Yeah. It's uh, I, I, He could I make agree. a Skrulls I team. I can I can agree with I can agree with you. All right, Miss Thing. Oof. B. Ms. Thing. Miss. B. Ms. It's Ms. Yeah, Miss Thing. D. D. What did you say? D. Yeah, she's the other yeah, Fantastic okay. Four for Four. So. Yeah. Skip. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Doctor D. Ally Captain. Ally gets him a bump. Fandius D. Invuln. Oh, this is the the Fantastic Four one. Yeah. Um, that makes it better. <laughs> yeah. I think minimum C for me, probably B just for the capabilities. Oh, I think... Yeah, I think he's B because this is the one that you do the isotope thing with yes. that you've been telling right. us all about, right? Dr. D to DJ Doom to Doom to Doom, 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 Doom. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's it's either him or the deep cuts, but the deep cuts one is arguably worse. So, but I think he also could see play at thirty because of Fantastic Four in general. You like having lower point Fantastic Four to, to switch in and yeah. out, and uh, and he, perplex is not awful. Yeah, and, you know what? I, I'm uh, I'm calling it. Say it. A. Oof. Oh, Oof. He did it. Uh, he might get A just because of that thing, the the isotope. 
Because uh, so here's the here's the question, right? So he can go on whenever you isotope him out, do they go back to the sideline? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like, let like, me let me read that. isotope real quick. This is important. It's before I'm, I might move him back down to B. It's a replace, so, I, so it should work. Uh, where's the isotope? Oh, after revealing forces, you may move this object to the sideline. Blah blah blah. At the beginning of the game, you may replace a character on your starting force with a character from your sideline of the same name and point value. So yeah, yeah. you would replace them. So he would yeah, go to the sideline. Did... Okay. So if I if I'm playing a fantastic playing against a Fantastic Four theme team, and I'm a Fantastic Four, replacing it right. I isotope this guy to the sideline so I can get his sideline active against against my with my other captains and sidekicks. Uh, that is a good point. I didn't even sure. Yeah, I didn't even think about that for you know, if you switch him to DJ Doom, he does technically still go to the sideline. So yeah, the sideline uh, it'll right. work there. if you have any, you know, sidekicks or captains on your team. But you I think might. you're going to, right? You might, because you you might. So I think, I think there's enough interaction there, um, that <coughs> that he he's 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 going to be a. He may not be on the main force, but I think the fact that he enables things in and out that yeah. that he's worth it. Okay, I, I'm sticking with B, but I. Maybe a higher B than I was thinking before. That's where I'm at. Uh, Bentley 23. Sidekick. 20 points. Leadership and using season center and all So he can leadership everybody. Adjacent. Oh, all sidekicks. adjacent sidekicks. C. Yeah, I'm feeling with this. He's C. He's... I don't a. see enough utility for him to be, or enough uh, stats to be... Uh, so, yeah. Sidekicks Psychic. have to get a lot better for him to be good enough. Oh man. Mm -hmm. But they could. Artie's gonna make me change one of my previous things. Artie's <sighs> no. a Artie's a clear B for me, and in order for Artie to be a B, I need Leech on the team. So Leech might have to go up to a, a B. You don't need Leech. He's good without Leech. Uh I like the plus three range to make him I'm an not, eight he's range. He's obviously better, but he's good uh, well, without Leech. You know what? Uh, luckily, I already had Leech at a B, uh, so whenever <laughs> whenever I slide in Artie as a B, <laughs> not a big surprise here, boys. Not a big surprise. Dan's fought ahead, clearly. It's, um, Artie's <laughs> so good for 20 freaking points, man. Yeah, I'm putting, uh, obviously, Artie as a, um, a B for me, too. Clearly, yeah. clearly, I forgot about the eight hours we spent recording a five-hour <laughs> podcast <laughs> and I forgot that Artie interacted with Leech already. Yeah. Well, that's because I wasn't our was our comments and uncommons separated, so it could have been no, like a whole day. We, no, we did. <laughs> no, we did those first. It was one day. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say it could have been twenty eight hours since we <laughs> we talked about Leech when we talked about Artie. Yeah, Ar Artie's really good. He he might just make X Men teams. He's so good. Um, there's a lot of value there, like especially like with the. The hypersonic that you're going to talk about later, right? Because you can hypersonic to carry him 10 squares, and then he can triple mind control with 11 attack. That's pretty crazy. For 20 points. Yeah. I agree. All right. Arguably on, one, of the uh, one of the best sidekicks. Yeah. Uh, uh, and also, we're doomed. Jay Major <laughs> said that he had challenge accepted on the Power Pack <laughs> theme team. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, so, man. We're going to we're gonna have to listen to... Jay, we're going to have to talk about whatever Jay wants to talk about for our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Tom. so Tong. 15 points. Oh. Plus put, combat values. I put Mick at a B. I feel like if I put Mick at a B, I have to put Tong just because you... Yeah, I agree. Like, because... You need Mick, Core, and Tong, and if you do, they all get plus one combat values, and we already had Mick at a B. 
So it's not a huge point investment. He's got super senses. Also, like any cheap Fantastic Four team figure is good, right? Because it heals them. That's right. He's got uh, improved movement hindering. Yeah, I feel bad putting him at a B and then Leech at a C, but or she. Hey, you know what? I don't know if, if Tom's a he or she. Had... If you just have Leech at a B, then your your conflict is not one. Your conscience is clear. <laughs> uh, but there's not much to talk about Tong. Tong's really there for the unique modifier and the body block. I don't think Tong... You're not sending Tong out there to do some crazy force blast. Uh, he could definitely be um, your dedicated thing pilot. True. Very mm -hmm. true. I like that. What about uh, Woo? Woo. 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 Um... Do you hark in front of the carriage name? Vil is on your force. Woo and Vil have passenger one, but only to carry a sidekick. That put Vil that's not a good B. enough. That's a C. It's not great. It's probably a C. I I like that he has flurry. Any cheap character with flurry because you can obviously up the damage. Um, but yeah, I think C. All right, now the figure that J Major is gonna have like three of on his team. <laughs> Uh, I'm so much fun, was perplexed when you target friendlies with the power pack. Hey, he's great on a power pack. Team. That's what I'm saying. Got, Jay, Jay's going to be playing that. three or four of them. Four <laughs> probs and a bunch of perplexes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, just to spite Jay. D. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, D. <laughs> uh, Alex Powers is D. Yep. So if anyone's questioning, we're putting most, if not all, the power all pack. All the one. <laughs> in, Julie Powers is D. Yep. Wizard ally. I feel sorry for all our so, power pack fans. So. <laughs> I do too. They had to get remember, this fans. is meta only, and not. Yes. No, I feel bad for the cow casual power pack fans. Uh, wizard. Yeah. He's D for me. Uh, Wizard does the sideline active for scientists, though. So, I feel like he's probably lower on the end of the <coughs> sideline active. So, I would say he's probably a C. That's why I'm fitting him. Just because of the active. Or, uh, yeah, the sideline active. I think sidelines are getting kind of bunched up. So, I don't are. feel like you're going to sacrifice a slot for that. So, I'm going D. That's why he's a C and not a D. Yeah, I'm going D. I don't, I don't, I don't care for okay. him at all. Oh, wizard, okay. fair enough. I'm... Oh. <laughs> this guy's an A for me. An A? Yeah, I mean he's. he's I really not... like this guy. I don't know why people are sleeping on him. He, they're no, I don't think nobody <clears throat> is right. So the problem, he's got an eight range with an eight movement, so that's a sixteen range. You know no. that character. This, That's but he does the. The thing is, he's got an elevated. He's got he's got improved targeting, elevated hinder or characters. Uh -huh. So, elevated terrain blocks your line of fire, right? Um, within range of line of fire. Not if you have that ability. No, no, no. That's what no, I'm he's saying. saying he's saying if elevate. He's saying for his trait. Just, just. I'm saying for a normal situation. For You're like gonna make me look day, up rules. It. Yeah. Yes. Does does elevated use the word block your line of fire? Um, probably. I, I'll look it up uh, while you make your point. But so characters block your line of fire. Yeah, but characters block your line of fire. Yeah, but so it says your lines of fire aren't blocked. Th and that's what I, that's my that's my point. Okay. What what's your point? I'm confused. He's saying that this allows you to shoot hindering even if you don't have improved hindering. Oh, yeah. I'm saying it allows you to shoot through King's Tomb. Yes. Well, to, uh, barring any walls. Uh, walls block your line of fire. A line of fire between two squares on the same elevation that crosses elevated terrain of a higher level yeah. is blocked. Oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't even think about line that. Line of That's fire true. between squares on the same elevation is not blocked by elevated trip, blah, 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 blah. So, so you're saying, right. like, if you are eight squares away from somebody, or ten squares away from somebody with Marquis of Death, and there's five walls in the way, you can move Wizard up there, free action, then Marquis can shoot him. Well, not walls. He doesn't do yeah. walls. No. Marquis no, can no, shoot no. him. 
No, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, what Alex is trying to say is that Wizard doesn't. Yeah, I'm saying Wizard can move up. To I'm saying as around. long as Wizard can, as Wizard could fly through the maze, mm -hmm. right, and get a line of fire onto that character. Now Marquis. Marquis could shoot him, right? Or, I don't know, wh whoever, right? Dark Phoenix. Yeah. I don't know. Or your freaking sidekick, right? As long as he can get that range value to that character. Walls, elevated characters, stealth. Uh, the like, only thing that would, the only thing that would stop Wizard would be, like, Shifting Widows. Or Chase Black Panther, or something like that. Something or like just that. really good barrier placement. Yeah. If Marquis Correct. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, the whole thing is assuming that you can get the line of fire yeah. time. And by Chase Black Panther, you mean ABPA, Chase Black Panther. Yep, the 85 uh, Merlin. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, that definitely I raises think... him up for me. I didn't His think so. I think I, He's got leadership. I think if he, had, if he had phasing, that definitely is he, better. He would be S tier. Mm -hmm. So he is a solid A tier um, because he's scientist leadership you know, at 25, and then at 25 50... 25 points TK. Like, we were just talking about that. That's right. So, TK, flight, you know, and he ignores elevated hindering characters, and he flies. Oh, my gosh. He's a solid attacker, too, for that many points. Yeah, so he is, he is so solidly A, I, I almost want to make him S. He, you know what? He, he's my first S. He's my first oh, S. My the, wiz <laughs> the wizard, the wizard prime is going to win, win events consistently. I'm really. still debating between B and A, to be honest. You I... disgust. The only reason is because he takes a prime slot. He does. And we have another scientist that I feel like I would maybe play. Now I don't know if I play high evolutionary more, but. The problem is, is that so. It, I mean, to, here's to, the thing: is that like even unthemed, right? This guy, you know, providing leadership, giving you that fourth action, and then all of these badass tent poles that we talked about in the past four weeks. You know, like oh, this one doesn't have you know improved targeting. You know, this okay. Well, if you get into those crazy situations and you need an obliteration beam from Ultra Chase Thanos or Prime Vulcan or whatever. Right, if you think about it, this sets up single target pulse waves behind walls. True. So yeah, you're true. you're in your little group of people. You've got your little uh, you can't energy explode me, Marquis, Johnny Storm. And then I'm like, okay, well I'm just gonna fly up the wizard, and then turn off or a target. I don't know, Black Leopard, and then Marquis is going to come up, get TK'd into position, and pulse wave Black Leopard off the off the map. All right, you've convinced me to move him to an A, but like a low A for me. He is a very high A for me. Because I just feel like he's just way too easy to kill, and he's going to be Vulture fodder, he's going to be Dark Phoenix fodder, like he's going to be all of those things, and you have to get him up there to do this, so you better hit and better kill whatever, because otherwise... He's just dead next turn. Also, scientists. Well, yeah. I don't think the scientist doesn't have a lot of good team abilities outside of like minions of doom, and that's not good for him. Uh, like I'm trying but to think. But you gotta of... remember that also, like also scientists like get you god doom. Um, yeah, no. I mean, I have a. I still have him in A. I just don't know. That's fair. That's I don't know how high he's actually gonna go. That's that's. I, I'm I'm hi I'm hyped about it. I'm hyped about it. Gotcha. Obviously. Jim Hammond. Isn't he famous? Isn't that a per famous person's name? Who am I thinking of? Jim Hansen? What's that? That's the thing. Henson? Yeah. You mean Jim Henson, the Muppets Who's that? created? Muppets, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's yeah. not close to Hammond, though. It starts with um, H. I keep saying Jim Hammond is my local sheriff. Oh, that's, that's who about I'm thinking of, of course. What it is. <laughs> um, oh, this guy's the original Human Torch from the first Marvel he comic. Is. Um, he's you good. know, I 
Go ahead, Alex. Uh, for me, he has to be probably minimum B, just because he's a robot leadership. That's really the only reason. Uh, you could debate whether to play him or Cyclops Sentinel, and there might be instances you'd rather have him for the like shield team ability or some other stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm borderline between B and C. I feel like because I'm rating robots so high, I feel like I need you to like put robots. him at B. Yeah, because his, like his the, whole cap, like the robots. his captain thing is kind of pointless. You're not playing him for the captain thing. Um, so I think you're nuts. I love he's, his captain. He's a, sol- thing. he's a solid C for me, and I think it's, uh, and that's okay. Dude, if we get a really good, uh, like sidekick, like you just, you, like you just send them up, they attack, they can't be killed. You just, this guy's in the back, you can't kill him. I mean, you could kill Jim Hammond. Maybe, you know. I like just support him or something. See, my feeling with sidekicks are is you don't care if they die generally, like you well, do until one comes out that's like crazy. Well, that's because you don't believe in mission points. I don't. I sort of believe in <laughs> mission points with Herbie. So, for me, in my head, I'm like I'm playing a ton of sidekicks for them to potentially die. Hopefully not with Herbie, but. <laughs> I'll yeah, I have him as a B though, so I, I put him in B for different reasons. C, C, Pybach. Uh, yeah, that's his name or her name. That's a that's a good old solid D. Yeah, I think so too. Are we overlooking his unique modifier where he gives scrolls bonuses against no. Fantastic Four? Anything like I'm that? Not relevant enough. Not relevant enough. That's fair. Even if it's relevant, it's only one attack. All right, let's see if these next two save J Major. Uh, Alex Powers. B. <coughs> Alex J. did J. miscolor this one. Alex Powers are rare. I'm like, what the heck? There's two Alex Powers that are uncommon. No. No, this one's not rare. uncommon. Yeah. Uh, the O thirty fours are rare. Oh, HC Rounds has that as <laughs> uncommon. Yeah. No. No, they don't. It's a rare. I see it right here. No, I mean I, in the in the the dial, the dial thread. Oh, the evidence. Yeah, thread. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at the yeah, yeah, the evidence thread. They have him as a uncommon. That um, actually makes me put him in D because he has the dial of someone that should be an uncommon and not a rare. Various free will and yep. I, So like, it's cool. He can sidestep and then move a friendly sidekick two squares. Um, he himself is a sidekick. So he can move himself. So it's a double side step. He can. He gets all the benefits of the side step, side kicks. Um, he has decent attack. I'm gonna put him in C just because he's a sidekick. Yeah, Dan, you're going against your previous <laughs> philosophy. We peer pressured him. Yeah, you've got you've got two wow. combating theories. Power pack is garbage, <laughs> and all <laughs> captain and sidekick should be in C plus. Oh, you backed yourself into a corner. You know what? And it's a corner that I don't really care because it's, it's, <laughs> Alex, Alex Power is a terrible 50-point guy. Yeah, 50, right. 50 is too much for me. 50 is okay. just way too Fair much. Enough. Whenever my little sidekick's a little 10-point guy that's eating you with close <laughs> combat expert and yeah. uh, exploit and Atlantisan and uh, dolphin swimming, shit, <laughs> come on now. Uh, Julie Powers. Huh? He's at least I mean, a you know what? We... We talked about her at length on the on the site on the review, and I'm I'm still going D. You're nuts, dude. Yeah, I, I I I can't. I just I can't. Alex, I can't, Tyler. I just <laughs> I just. I, 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 I'm going C, <laughs> leaning towards B. Oh, she's so, she's a B. Like. What other character can place a figure ten squares and then they can act after that? Nuts. Uh, every everybody when they had an eight point tank. Um, that's true, but we don't have that anymore. Um, she is a B for me for sure. Um, if there is some sort of psychic thing that works later, it will be because of her. Um, the Artie thing that I just said is amazing. All right, you, you but, but I I forgot about Artie. Yeah, I, I'd bump her up to a B for Artie. <laughs> 
Okay. For I'm Artie, man. For I, I, if I can be wrong, if I am wrong about something on this one, let it be wrong <laughs> about Julie Power. <laughs> That's fun. It's a fine hill to die on. Um, yeah. Dragon Man. Uh, this is the one that gives us shape change? No, this is the bad one. Um, This is the... Are we talking about the Dragon Man? Giant yeah. Dragon Man? Giant Dragon Man. Yeah, no. He's it's such a good C. dial for 65 points. He's a good dial for 30 points, though. I mean, that's still an 11 for 4. Oh, that's right. Alex was telling me about this 30-point dial on the podcast. Um, oh, yeah, because like a triple 30. target... Too. I don't like the thirty point dial. I like the sixty point dial. It's really good. I want to give him. I'll, I'll give him a C. That's what I'm doing. I, I think until we figure out exactly how good <laughs> close combat targeting is, I, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt because he's one of the few <laughs> close combat with three targets. There could be some shenanigans when we figure out the rules at some point with powers. If there's something like exploit for three or something, we give them exploit somehow, and we're like, ha ha, we three exploit to everyone around me, like or one exploit to everyone around me. I mean, wow, that's a C to me. So yep, me too. Let's see. Tyler's favorite, second favorite figure. Second favorite next to Uatu, Adolf Impossible. Mm-hmm. He's a B, and you can't convince me otherwise. There's next. no way he's a B. He's gonna. He's gonna be. He's a B, and he's on the sideline for Fantastic Four. I think I'm putting him in D. I'm. He's D. He's awful. He's not. You know good. what? If you're di- If I'm. If, if I'm gonna go on the Julie Power Hill, you can go on the Adolf Impossible Hill, and we'll prove I feel a little wrong. better about your hill. Wait. Do you want? Do you want him to go on the Adolf Impossible Hill, or do you want him to go on the Watu Hill? <laughs> oh, I'm dying on both. I'm on two hills, baby. <laughs> Yeah, he's a he's a B because twenty five points is a decent one for Fantastic Four. There's not a ton of twenty five point Fantastic Four. I don't feel like, but um, he's one you put on your sideline for Fantastic Four in case you need to have him when you switch out because he's still pretty good for that. So if, that's how I see him. I don't see you main forcing him. I see you sidelining him for certain instances that I have not yet determined what they are yet. Okay. Uh, you're both wrong, and I hate you both. Uh, core. Uh, see. Where do we put the other ones? Uh, we put Meek and B. I did, at least. Yeah, Meek's in B. Bill's in B. Tong is But I don't... Is kind of the one we were building towards. I, I'm putting. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting. Just he, looking at it. I, I think he's fine to be in B. I mean, he does have stealth. He does have willpower. I'm putting him in C just because he's not a good piece, and I'm feeling forced to place to play him yeah, because you know of what? everyone else. So it's like I will play him just to get the plus combat values, but well, you're not happy about it. I'm not happy, so I'm gonna put him in C because I feel ashamed. So. Right. I wish if there was a, if I wish that his um, Paul got the sidekick buffs. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm putting him there too. Let's see. Awesome Andy. B. Mm. He's got to be B. If I'm putting Spider Man in B, yeah, give everyone super B. senses, and he gives everyone shape change. He's better. Than no, no, no. Uh-huh. Oh, <laughs> here's why battle fury keeps you from completely rolling shape change yeah precision so. strike only keeps it on a six but i could play him and spider-man for 60 points right <coughs> spider-man 30 or 40 Five. he's 40 uh, so, so for 75 points and give every sidekick shape change and super senses that feels pretty cheap for me to to, to do that and i think awesome andy can go do stuff maybe and spider-man i'll give him a ring to be helpful um I'm, i i agree with you i just wanted you to uh not give him a b because of shape change i'm, I'm still and giving also, him a b because he's gonna combo with all those but i get your point. also of also of note 
um, is that he is a super strength sidestepper, so he enables your heavy equips, which is he's a, a giant very... super strength sidestepper. Right, so he's very unique in that situation. Um, additionally, um, he can also steal heavies. His if you need him cool to too, be also right. Right. He's definitely he's better than Spider Man for me for sure. And I like Shape Change yeah. better than Super Smooth. Well, I like having them both, especially yeah. when your super senses can't be pulse waved. Yeah, that is better. You pick, you, gotta, you pick you pick it off of an internal. Oh wait, wait a minute, no, these are All right, we need to we need to speed up a little bit before we get sleepy towards the good ones. Um, <laughs> Human that's right, Human Torch. The uh, rare one. This is this is D tier. This is C, just because. Uh, well, no, we have the other torch that has pulse wave. I put him in C. I like his trait. I like he's decent. He's got good keywords. Not knockback damage goes away, therefore he's not as good. The do it. Uh, there might be instances where you can't pulse wave your own people is useful. So yeah, that's cool. That's a cool power. I'm putting him in that's C. That's useful. All right, Mister Frozen. Oh yeah, this guy's so bad. He's Kristoff. awful. I hate this guy. No, D. Yeah, this is him. D. Yeah, you're not convincing me he's going on any competitive team. Okay. Lila, Lija, 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 D. Elijah. Uh, D. Did you just sing a Hamilton song? Yeah, for you, buddy. Oh, I, have you watched it? I've watched it like three times. I oh, was listening God. to this stuff. I'm the I one have, that I has listened to. I haven't. I you haven't gotta yet. watch it. You know, just for Elijah, I'm gonna put C just because of the song. No, I'm just playing. Yeah. I got a song to send you, Alex. Okay. That's all. Um, Danny Frankenstein. Da Danny, Danny <laughs> Frankenstein. Frankenstein. All right. <laughs> Daniel Richards. I feel like you guys didn't like this guy, and then I hyped him up, and now you like him, and now you like him more than me. And now we're yeah, he's a, he's a tier for me now. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh, he's a. Well, I don't think I just hadn't read him right. I just think you didn't really hype him up. <laughs> You just, I just, you just told you, you what he did. Yeah, you just <laughs> use small word. And when when they use big word, you use small word. Me understand better. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Two. And you see toughness, power. I'm I mean, it's all that. about the it's all about the yeah, object, that's right? Thing, yeah, right. For sure. the, you, I mean, giving them a standard attack powers is going to. Be... Yeah, Colson was never and he, played, and, but he no, was no, Colson. Colson was played. Just with Vulture, uh, though. I, I feel yeah. like we, it was theorized, but nobody ever did No, it. no, no. He was. I played I've, against it. Yeah, I've seen it more also. Than, more, more than one occasion. Okay. Um, now, Colson had to hold the object. Nathaniel only has to be adjacent to it. <coughs> that is better. So that that's huge. Also keep in mind, uh, Nathaniel Richards has futures. So that means he could also go on Latveria teams. So... Because of the doom, that's true. so yep. you could throw him on any Latveria and give any of those beef boys a standard attack Phoenix. power. Giving a Dark Phoenix pulse wave was nice. Yeah, so definitely A tier, God maybe S tier. Right? That's it, it's say. close. It's a low. I, I, he he's an he's an A because he's only two <laughs> clicks. He's so squishy that he's not S tier for what he does. Like, I mean, you giving can't put a character with leap climb S tier. Oh, uh, uh, Raphael awesome. Sousa <laughs> also mentions Colson was played in a Hulk build. <coughs> that is true. I do remember that actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Thank you for that. I completely, I forgot, man. That wasn't that long ago that we had the crazy. We're scared of that Hulk. <laughs> TMT Hulk going crazy. <laughs> man. Uh, Molecule Man. Garbage. Hey. No, I'm just <laughs> easy, easy, easy A. That was a good movie. Um, um he's at least A. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. He's A. He's I, I don't. A. I, I'm I don't have I don't an S he's... yet, and I'm feeling left out. So I don't. I, it's hard for me to say that he's S, right? Because cosmic, Latveria, scientists, and even you know, they have so many different options. That just because you're playing one of them doesn't necessarily mean that you say, 
yes, I'm going to definitely put Molecule Man on every Cosmic team. Molecule Man definitely goes on every Latveria team because Cosmic, he competes with Dark Phoenix. Latveria, he competes with VV Doom. Scientist, he competes with Danny Frankenstein and uh, Wizard. 20, other, 20, 20 other scientists. Um, he can be perplexed twice with God Emperor, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. He's a, high, he's a high A for me. He doesn't quite make S. He doesn't quite make S, but he is definitely a solid A. Yeah. Right, um, do it, Alex. Uh, I'm going A also, but he's just not. He's. <sighs> it's one of those. He's not my type. You gotta like, find your hill, Alex. Well, I, I mean, I don't generally play a lot of barrier teams, and I don't either. I will never play this beast ever. Yeah. So for me, it's like I don't <laughs> know how often. I'll use him. Like he's cool. Like I'm, I'm considering him now for my Latveria team, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know if because I can roll really just bad. Be thankful. The world should just be thankful that he is a unique. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. But he's still, um, he's he still be, an A he, for me. He, just to clarify, he would be okay. S tier plus if he was not unique. Yeah. All right, uh, Ramatut. Uh, Rama in the shoot, trash shoot, because that's bad. Yeah, yeah, D. Red Ghost is D. I don't care because the po because it. the po because the pogs aren't autonomous. I agree. I know the yeah. pog's name is Piotr. Piotr. Yeah, Piotr. Uh, Diablo. Wait, I didn't uh, say what I was gonna do. Oh, you didn't. Okay, I just assumed. It's a pog oh. team, though. I love pogs. You do, Alex. Alex, you bad. didn't make um things for the objects no i didn't because i didn't think we were going to i think we were just doing figures because we were going to do a tier maker for all objects yeah that's what we we're gonna do yeah okay fair enough okay fine because i'm thinking about this next diablo and i'm like uh he's good. yeah so if we're really talking about the individual object. piece that comes with the object obviously keep that in mind but yeah. for individual pieces i feel like we should do a tier maker just for <laughs> all the crazy objects we have yep. because is, uh, when we get closer to oh, new rules, you. maybe when we know a lot of the new yeah. rules. All right, give your red ghost a D. I did, I did. Okay, <laughs> Diablo. Diablo. He, he's an ally. Wo okay. Whoop de do. Whoop de do. D for Diablo. Um. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Do Prime. I give, do I give him a sit? Wait, hold on. I thought you said it. I'm sorry. I mean, his thing with alchemical potion isn't bad. It is bad because so, he is bad. No, no, I think so. <coughs> for thirty-five points, prime. Uh, I don't. I don't think mystical or past or masters of evil is necessarily hurting for yeah. their prime. I thought Alex was still on the non. No, nah, he's D. He's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, prime. I, yeah, yeah. Prime. The, I think the prime is going to be. B. Oh. B? I am struggling to put him in C. Pass. He's D for me. He's going D. I, I, I don't think he's going to see play. I, there's too many other good prime I scientists. Concur. There's other good prime. Maybe mystical, but I That's don't know, what man. I was saying. I was he what what you're gonna throw out this thirty five piece to get one shot potentially and I don't know it just doesn't feel good. Um, J Major says fire. Speaking real quick, J Major mentions there has to be a tier for figs you would never play and worse than D. Okay. Then D well, so, is never play. Yeah, D is kind of never play for us. Also, like D is utter trash. No one will try it. So that includes yeah. us. <laughs> right. Um, what were you going to say about alchemical fire? The the fact that he starts with the alchemical fire is just good. So but now hey. he can just... I don't he think it makes any sense. He... I mean, he can get penetrating EE pretty quickly. That's true. Um, and then for the 12 attack at 35 points, that's a huge caboose. Uh, even if it's just a glass cannon, right? I mean, he's 5 clicks for 35 points. That's not inconsequential with super yeah, I mean, we have five point equipable penetrating EE. I 
it doesn't really see play. You don't have to equip it though. If you're thinking about action economy versus That's versus true. Doom, then it is relevant. Like, I think Mystics hurts him a little bit too. Just a little I bit. I don't, but I don't care enough to discuss it. I think he's D. Stardust. Stardust D. I'm putting Stardust in C. I'm also putting Stardust in C. She does unique things. It's cool. Point and click, all wave is fun. And just being able to heal every turn. Mm -hmm. Like, it's what we wish all the Wolverines could do. Like, the, the running shot. Like, yeah. She's the Wolverine. She's Wolverine that could run a shot all wave. And I like that. Not like it enough to play it competitively, but I could see someone playing it competitively or trying to. So... Terrible. I mean, Terrax. <laughs> Terrax. Uh, yeah, Terrax is bad. He is D. Terraxable. Terraxable. That's a good one. Right. Super rares. This one's tough. This one Herbie. is... Herbie. Where there's, it's a big statement where you put this guy. Because it, it's going yes. forward. What? I'm putting him in A. Are you guys I'm kidding me? Uh, I'm putting Herbie at S because PJ says he's going to play him a bunch just because. <laughs> that is true. Uh, so, I mean, if PJ plays him, that means other people play him, yep. which means that he's going to be on winning teams. If for no other reason, this, the people are like, I just played Herbie because PJ did, which is a totally legitimate and non-bad <laughs> reason to play a figure. Therefore, it's S tier. I feel like... I, my opinion on mission points, I've stated on the podcast before, but in this instance, I'm leaning more towards mission point being almost like a psychological thing now. Like, I'm playing a sidekick team, I'm not counting on mission points to win me the game. I'm planning on dealing you enough damage with all these dang figures. But if I start getting up to 12 mission points, 14 mission points, and we still got some time left... That's going to put a little bit of pressure on you because you know that I'm getting a little bit closer to an alternate win condition when that, that when I'm not actively trying. <laughs> like it's So I, I like him because he gives the perplex. He does stuff for, um, you know, he gives your psychics just the, the chance to come back. So mm -hmm. I, I think he has to be, uh, like the whole ultimate nullifier thing, that's garbage. Um, but... Well, unless you're playing the Mr. Fantastic that gives all the sidekicks leadership. Which but, you probably are. Um, but still, I like Herbie a lot. Um, I almost have him S tier. I don't have him S tier because I'm just not playing sidekicks yet. And I'm not fully convinced they're... Like, they're not going to be S tier sidekicks until Vulture is 100% gone. Um, but Herbie well, allows you... Yeah, Herbie saves you from Vulture if you're lucky, and my luck will run out. So <laughs> that's why he's uh, not S tier for me. I am putting Herbie in B. I am not convinced yet, but people will play him. I, I am just putting Herbie there because PJ the said one. he's gonna. <laughs> so PJ said so, and you know what? That's my meme pick of all of these. I like him. Yeah, sidekick sidekick does not feel like your forte at all, Dan. That's like the the anti Dan team, not like beat Dan team, but like let's find the worst team for Dan to play that he'll hate so much. Well, Here's like twenty ten point figures, like with little numbers. <laughs> uh... <laughs> little numbers is worse than anything. <laughs> um, so oh, we have Atlantis. I've got her at C just because if someone figures out the mission point yeah. things with her smoke clouds and stuff, she instantly becomes S tier. I agree. I'm reluctantly putting her at C. I want to put her D, but yeah, uh, I, 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 I do. I do too, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't put any mission point figure in D, no matter oh, what you're about to say. We'll see about that one. Just because, like, we <laughs> we don't know with. We don't know what we're getting in future. Like, if this is all there is for mission points, they're like, yeah, this was a bad idea, but we're not going to get rid of it, then sure, they're not that great. But I assume they're going to make more. And Probably. I mean, okay, great. I'm uh, on board. Beard. <sighs> oh, man. Probably bad, right? He's super fun. 
but he's probably bad. He is so he's so fun. Like I want I want if you're playing Mighty Age or Majestic's Age, you can play him with Golden Skull and you will win. <laughs> Otherwise, he's D tier. He. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't do anything I want him to do. Yeah. I'm Pirate. Uh, sadly. I don't know, man. I mean, he does have um, theme team manipulation, right? We, yeah, yeah, we, we always I, say that that can't ever be bad. I gotta put him in C, just because I know there's not a lot of dolphin symbol, but man, he could take make all my vils pirates. So I'm, I'm actually I'm putting aboard. him in C too because of the the keyword cheating thing. I, I'm just gonna put him in D. Just that's fine. Him. You're probably right. Uh, <laughs> invisible a boy. D. Yeah. D. B. B or D. D doggo. Okay. Whew. Yeah, D. I don't like him. Yeah, stealth isn't good enough. Like it, like there, it's not pr like around enough to yeah. where his thing is good. So I also put him at D. Silver Savage. This is the one we talked about. I feel like too much. <laughs> it's D, but it's it's it's, it's like backward. It's a really fun figure, but it's just not competitive, which is fine. Yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, All right. <laughs> Here it is. Uatu. The Watcher. Uatu. Just go ahead and say it, Tyler. I I don't think I can put him in D. I you think can't. I have to <laughs> I think I have to put him in C. A. He's A. He's not A. I'm going to I'll, I'll I'll tell you so there there's two super rares on here one of them's going to be an a and a spoiler alert, the other one's going to be an s because if i have anything to say about it they will win events well i mean you already have her her be an s so we have to right. assume it's uh, everyone but, else but is garbage uh, herbie's, Herb, uh, herbie's not my style of play <laughs> but i'm going to say for my style of play whenever the time comes for a watu in the future he will be on teams for me there is no way because, like, he compete like, okay, you're playing him on, a, I'm assuming, a Cosmic team, right? That's where you stick him? Sure. In New Why, Rules. Do, do I know how to play anything else? Okay, <laughs> in New Rules, Dark Phoenix is Cosmic, and she will have Prob with the theme team. The three of them. He, he's That's competing okay. with Dark Phoenix. No, he's and Dark, not. Phoenix is, and, Dark Phoenix, and Dark Phoenix is S. A lot is an A. Yeah. By the way, Jeremy wanted us to know that he dislikes mission points. I'm not going to read the thing where he says he's D tier. You're not D tier, Jeremy. Hey, you guys are making me want to put this guy D. Uh, I'm split. Hey, oh, hey, Tyler, if it makes you feel better, I'm splitting the difference, and I have him in B. It doesn't. <laughs> Fine, I will. I will leave him in C, but only because other people will play him. I think it should be. Like I'm not putting him on my Latveria team. Yeah. Like, maybe Cosmic, maybe Scientist, but it, it's right. just so hard with him because we have so many other good probs, but those <laughs> are going to go away fairly soon, so I um, think he's better. A Watu is just my kind of figure. Yeah, I get it. I hate it. Um. Okay, this is next one, I'm assuming, is Dan's S tier. <laughs> Griever. <laughs> uh, gr Griever is D. <laughs> well, no, cause, well, it has to be S tier because he loves Griever and he loves Molecule Man because man, they they tag team together so well. No, no, no. They don't. I, if anybody's okay. You, Dan, you were very excited when Starfire came out. This guy's better than Starfire. What? The, the the fifty point starfire. She can pulse wave. It, this guy's way better. He's got better stats. He's got outwit. No, he, 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 can't can't he, he can't pulse wave. He can't pulse wave. I agree with that. That's the only reason I like Starfire. Mm. She can pulse wave. And then yeah. on her stop click, she has flurry, battle mm. fury, and better stats. Yep. One v one, Griever gets. Owned by Starfire. Well, I don't know. Any day. 
no any day. Six Grievers versus six Starfire. Starfires win any day. All I know is I really love having a 10 attack end cap for 4 damage. I'm putting, it could be really good after the rules change. I'm putting him in D. Yeah, he's not. Uh, Psycho D. Man. I completely forgot Psycho Man was in this set, even though we did a set review about him. And talk about him for a little bit. Yeah, he's, D. His like, item is not, though. Yeah, his item's awesome, but Nobody will play it's him. not good. At, like, 75 points isn't good enough to get that extra 4 range. So, <laughs> poop it, master. Oh man, he's a tier for me. Nuts. A? He, he he is B for me. B is in Bravo. He's only A because I'm really riding the Latveria high right now. So, like for yeah. me, it's like forty points for Latveria to have like a really good mind control and. As evidence of like everyone talking and prepping for tournaments, I mean, Dark Phoenix is huge. And so having mind control, which is going to get way better with the new rules, potentially, uh, yeah, I, I would like a mind control to maybe be my now go-to attack since you got all that, all those uh, retails. So, sure. Uh, I'll put him C. I'll Four. think he's good. Yeah, I, I mean, if Puppet Master is at least a B for me. I like his item better I, than <laughs> A, a 10 range, single target, 12 attack, mind control, with super senses and shape change and stealth. Mm -hmm. And team player has got to be good. Okay. I have seen. <laughs> um, just, uh, what was I going to say about... The funny thing, though, Tyler, is I honestly don't think he's... I don't think his object is good that good without him. So, like... It's I, good just in the fact that it lets you make an attack with 10 range through everything. That maybe. It, like, there has, like, as a for instance, if you're on a barrier, uh, or if you're against a barrier team, and you just give this thing to Jason, and then he can mi start the mic up chain without having to need a line of fire. So, Something uh, similar to that. So, like a little preview, what would you do for the <laughs> radioactive clay? I feel like, like I just said it. Like a B? A? Oh, um, probably a B. But yet you're putting his 40-point user who doesn't lose it at a C. Yeah, because mm. I don't think he can use it to mm. as good effect as other people, like mm. Jason or somebody like that. I don't know. I don't or know. a tank effect later, right? If there's a tank effect later, that object gets way better. High evolutionary. B. S. Oh, he's the he's the one that brings up the swapping thing. Yeah, I got I, uh, I want to think so. that, that's S. Yeah, never mind, I, that's S. Yeah, I like this guy. It just like as a figure on a cosmic team, I like him a lot. Um, well, so he has he has potential for I mean, obviously thirty where he's at with a stop click, super senses, invincible, prob, running shot, all that good stuff, cosmic energy. He also has a potential at big points as a temple. Potential less so but probably yeah um the 19 defense is really good at that point value and it's guaranteed two clicks of 19 defense that's really strong two stop um, clicks that's not bad yeah i think that if you just even if he didn't have his isotope i, I, I he might be asked he's so good for 30 points on a cosmic team uh, like again that is competing with dark phoenix but i think this guy is good enough to be considered with dark phoenix See, I'm putting. I actually just now moved him back down to A. You disgust. Me. Well, I, re the... I I'm remembering what I said during the set review. Like, he's great at thirty, one twenty five. I just not feeling those middle four clicks. Like, I get sad at those middle four clicks. So for me, I'm thinking, I'll probably play him, and he'll probably see play on Cosmic Scientists, Fantastic Four teams. Yeah, because of great keywords. Yeah, the great keywords. The isotope thing is good, not great, because there's probably not probably a... has the best sideline active for the allies too. Against cosmic, I wouldn't. I don't agree with that. Cosmic's not the best keyword right now. What? What is scientist? You think? Yeah, scientists or the robot or the Fantastic Four? There was those three. Mystical, okay. not mystical. Mystical is, I think, below cosmic hey that's another great tier maker we can make at some point is keywords keywords that would be cool yeah. um 
Yeah, high evolutionary S. I like him a lot. Love him. I'm being picky with my S's this time, I guess. Well, I am. This is I, my first S. I, actually, I guess we'll wait and see. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. It's gonna be filling up here real quick. A uh, prime high evolutionary. He's at least a B. Uh, it would be. I'm yeah. going. I'm going to see. Animal's not good until we get better no, animals. But if it is. He's uh, got leadership. He's got support. He's he got takes up a prime slot. That's a lot for a prime slot. I'm just. Yes. I'm, uh, still, I'm keeping him B. I yeah, like B. It, for me, it's just. I have him at C because maybe Animal gets good at some point. But as of right now, Animal is not good enough to handle this guy. And. Or he's not good enough to, to go on Animal themed teams. And he, I think he's only good on Animal themed teams. So. Okay. That's why I have uh, him. Let's see. Victoria's is D. Yep. Uh, I wish there was something lower. Yeah, yeah, victorious. Man, it's not looking good. We got one more super rare, which I guess, Dan, you could take the floor. <laughs> on this yeah, uh, yeah. Mar Marquise of Death is going to be S tier. Now, is it cheating because we know you're going to play gonna him? Play him. <laughs> Uh, no, I, no. I mean, I'm telling you that I'm going to play him. I said that as soon as he was previewed that I was yeah. going to play him. Right. So we're like, I is feel it... like I feel like if I if, I feel like if I'm giving Herbie an S because yeah. of PJ, that that y'all could give Marquise of Death an S because of me. I, would I don't think, know. I mean, I, don't I only have I'm, one S right now. So. Anymore. He... I went ahead and completed. I, I completed my tier maker while y'all were arguing over the high evolutionary. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. Marquis, I think I'm going to leave him at A. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. He's really good. Okay. I like him a lot, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Whenever y'all start losing to him, y'all can just, um, you know, <laughs> put him yeah, back I'm into S later. Plenty of A figures, <laughs> sir. Don't, don't dry me. All right, now this gets to the hard part. Um, Chases. DJ Doom. All right, can, can, so I don't think we need to talk about them individually. We did that on the podcast. We do. So, well, I I would say it's ten thirty. So, um, well, I, I'm I saying we could I'm go not, we could go through them fast. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, DJ Doom's S. DJ Doom is an A for me. Yeah. Yes. Timetable's too good. He's you know they're going to be on winning builds. They're going to win events. That's S tier. He's a meta staple. Time right, table is meta right, staple. Right. Yeah, S. Stealing ob stealing objects, meta staple. Okay. Prisoner of Planet Doom. Skipping your first turn. Very meta staple. S. Skip uh, S tier. A for me. I made my if you want to know why, I explained it in great detail on the podcast. <laughs> Uh, Lord Doom is S, just because yes. he's one of the ones you want on your main board. Like, guaranteed for the stopping bystanders, for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doom Sorcerer Supreme. Uh, he is uh, he is a B for me. I'm warming up he, to him because he has double I mean, his targets. Prob is so, his prob is so unique, though. You're not playing him over anything. I'm. I was thinking C. I. I might segment B. I'll well, just... so hear me out real quick. I know we're trying to put. We're pushing on time. The reason lately <coughs> is because once again, because now that cosmic is being able to be put on all these teams, a dark phoenix and theme isn't that big of a deal. New rules. Dark phoenix can just be on anyone's team and it doesn't matter. So for me, I'm thinking about okay, dual targets is a great thing, and he's the only one with dual targets for Doom. So there could be a scenario where I want to be able to pen side two Dark Phoenixes. There's also a scenario where I might want to have a liar ring for him to be able to dual target mind control. Because mind control is going to be really dumb since you can use all those cool powers. So the only reason I'm kind of okay, he's, still, he's A. He's, he's not S for me. He goes with Prisoner of Planet B because, like, because everything you just mentioned, like uh, Danger Room Magneto does better. Okay, but he's not. Danger Room Magneto is not on a Lavaria team. That's my point. So yet, um, yet. No, yeah, I agree with that. I'm putting him on C. I don't think he 
sees a lot of play. I, I don't think he should see a lot. Uh, of play. He he is. He's not Alex, but he is on Spider Man Family, which these Doom dudes can be on Spider Man Family. Yeah, it's really nuts what they can be on. Like combined, they have twelve keywords. What? So like uh, you gotta because you, you gotta remember when we talked about the Spider Man tastes coming out, right? We said, man, we've got to like think about for the next two to three years what all theme teams can become Spider-Man family. Yeah, it, it's ruler. Science. It's just also keep in mind Armor. themes just not going to be as important. So, or at least not name. But the theme. probs is, or I think I think the probs are. Yeah, uh, the synergy, the synergy with the perplexes, the synergies with the leaderships, right? You're playing. You're going to play theme because it works well together. You're not going to be fluffing it. So I think that's the main. I think that's the main difference, right? Which falls in line with how we, as a podcast, portray theme is not the fluffy kind. It's the synergistic kind. So Raphael, you, you mentioned, won't you bring all Chase Dooms to your team so you can choose the best one? No, not necessarily because sidelines are starting to get full again. Um, some of these, like Sorcerer Supreme, you might choose not to ever play him. You might not ever play Prisoner of Planet Doom um, on your sideline. And I'm the current team I'm working on has two Dooms on it. So for me, I might be eating up some sidelines with some Dooms. So for me, Prisoner of Doom's A because he'll be on everyone else's team, not mine. Doctor Doom. Be, I don't think he should be on everybody else's team. He might. Um, well, no, that was Prisoner of Planet Doom. The first turn do um so let's let's talk about dr thing um he's s tier for me s tier for sure i I mean gosh dang just those (laughs) stats for 70 those seven the 75 point stat line the sidestep the plastic just almost said a bad word the plasticity (laughs) uh (laughs) listen listen to the podcast (laughs) yeah it's really really good yeah, and Rafael, are they all S or A since they will be part of your team? If no, I have no. them in A, that means they're maybe part of my team. But they're probably if they're in A tier, they're the first ones to go if I'm hurting for some trouble alerts or let's cause trouble or other thing. Isotope people, you know, they're they're hurting for that. So uh Doom is also S tier. <laughs> Instant S. Um might be the best one debatable um but yeah he's really really good (laughs) um yeah and we've mentioned this before listen to the podcast if you want an in-depth we (laughs) go on about this for a while so um malaria von doom whose middle name is megan c oh wait yeah she's She's b just because like Raphael said She's probably gonna be on teams on the sideline somewhere, not on mine. Oh, but... Alex, you forgot the LE. Oh no! What LE? Nobody cares about the LE. Oh, the Mr. No, uh, I I purposely left that off. Um, yeah, she's C for me, for sure. And then Doom, the Annihilating Conqueror, is S. S, hundred <laughs> percent. And, if, oh and if for God. a quick review, for those who haven't seen the podcast where we did this, typically you're going to be starting out with Doom, the Annihilating Conqueror, and Doctor Thing because they have the most powerful at the beginning of the game, or beginning game or at Force Construction, and then you'll switch into switch some into of these others. Uh, of the Pla- other Prisoner of Planet Doom is another one you may start with, but I, I'm not a fan of that power, but others are. So You disgust me. Uh, let's go through the legacy cards real quick. Yep. Uh, Mr. Yeah, I, I don't think Broker. we. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say I don't think we need to talk about those too much because we did on the podcast. Well, and... it's still meta. It's still meta. We got to oh, rank. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you. So fantastic. Uh, Zavin. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, what... Am I on the wrong ones? Hold on. Okay, Zavin. No, Zavin's first for me, and he's D. I'm gonna put him C. He he does some interesting stuff. Uh, yeah, I put on C also, just in case there's... Like you mentioned before, the ultimate nullifier, I didn't think about that. So if there's some shenanigans to be done with him in the ultra, ultimate nullifier, then someone <laughs> might be crazy enough to pull that off in a win a map. Um, She-Hulk is A for me? Is S-tier. 100% yeah, S-tier. Yeah, she S-tier. Yeah. 
She hawks ass. Too many good primes to not have her yeah. on every Fantastic Four team and debatable for other teams. You're right. You're right. She's us. I apologize. It's a good thing I the only prime you should be. It's only the only prime you should be playing is the wizard, so that you can shoot Seahawk from Ooh. halfway across the map. Does she? Wait, 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 wait. real quick. Does she kick off Black Panth Black Leopard from Fantastic Four? Oh, she's not a prime. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, no. just legacy. Yeah, for sure. She's prime worthy. Yeah. <laughs> no, apparently not. <laughs> uh, morgue is so far D, so far down the D. Should go to the morgue. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic is D. Uh, do we think Power Reach 10? What? So Giant Reach 10. I'll, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, the Invisible Woman, the Human Torch, I put in C just because I am not 100% smart enough to determine everything for the form of Fantastic Four. So it could be a thing because of their higher point values. Uh, and then the punch you to death thing I have in B. Yeah, I have B or thing in B. Um, the other ones are all D to me. I'm, I don't think they're good enough to see play. Uh, yeah, Mister Fantastic I have in C because of the giant reach. Invisible Woman I think is bad. Human Torch t might be too many points, but man, if there's a reliable way to get him on click two and just to be able yeah. to do pulse waves for three Pretty damage, great. that just seems someone it's could do something with that. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Alright, last one is Morgan Le Fay. We didn't talk about her. S. 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 I mean, as someone who owns four of them right now, that, that, <laughs> I, I am inclined to agree with you. Um, but I'm putting her in A. Uh, so I'm between A and B. Um, I think I'm going to stick her in A, though. Just perplex and prob is really good, and she's got decent keywords. Um, yeah, I mean, and she combines Avengers, and you know, there's yeah. almost all there's almost no way that there's not going to be a Avengers set, right? Yeah. No thing, there's no one a things. year. There's one a yeah. year. The last time we didn't have one was like 2016 or 2017, I think. Um, yeah, but I'm putting her in A because it, it is a lot of points to do it without like a stop click. Or a rollout. Yeah, Avengers Affinity, Avengers Defenders War. It was 2016. We had Civil War and the Captain America set, so that's why we didn't really yeah. have one in that year. But <laughs> Yeah, so was... looking at my list, this is a chase-heavy set. <laughs> Shocking no one. Yeah, I think I mean, we're getting better at this. The... Yeah. yeah? We're definitely faster this time, but that's because we also we spent all the time on the podcast. So we yeah, knew what going over everything. But I, I think that's good. I think that's yeah. how we want to do it. We use this tier maker thing, rankings, for everyone who just wants to know about meta. And then we could say, hey, you want more in-depth, check out the podcast. Because that's where we spend way too much time talking about each individual <laughs> figure. Except for Power Pack. Do not worry. We do not spend any of those hours on Power Pack. <laughs> I, we talk a little bit about the good one. All right? Uh maybe um <laughs> yeah so i i have one super rare six chases and then she hulk in my s tier yeah i've got the one prime the three super rares the six chases Ooh, and two legacy better. cards I, okay. I only have seven figures in my s tier i have eight total. the one prime five chases and she hulk but what's well, not... you know what I think I think in general too it, this is more of a personal thing for me. Yeah. Those figures that I have in S tier are the ones that I could see myself playing. There was very little in House of X that I could see myself playing. Yeah. yeah. This like um, the... this is my personal uh, personal uh, skew of it. The biggest thing for me is the the dooms are so easy to build with. Even like more more so than the spider-man chases like i like i can again i counted they have 12 keywords that they can use and be on a theme team with and mm -hmm. they're all so good like it, i like well, we've individually all been building separate teams and they all have did doom chases on them so like they're just going to be everywhere I think. well all i'm looking at right now is looking at 500 dollars. is what 
I'm looking at my tier ranking and I'm seeing the five dooms and I'm immediately thinking that's at least five hundred dollars worth of character figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Minimum. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't I don't want to think about it yet. But if you look at look at your super rares. Check out the super rares. I mean I've got five super rares in D and three in C. I only have five super rares B or higher. I have four. Yeah. That's I but that might be I mean I I'd have to go back and look at what I did for House of X, but the if anybody's thinking about doing one of these, which I insist and when we post we'll you know, we'll comment to say hey, everyone, you know, comment with your tier maker because I use this type of thing for when I'm going uh shopping. Like yeah. when I'm going buying singles, I reference the House of X one for the Oxit stuff and for eBay and I'm like, Okay, well I need a like I bought today a She-Hulk and Morgan Le Fay legacy card, <laughs> so because I knew I, my luck is going to be terrible with those. Um, so just for what it's worth, uh, we'll do what we did last month, and this tier maker will be our giveaway for fifty dollars of Troll and Toad web credit. There yeah. You go. So keep an eye out for that, and don't start posting your tier maker things on this thing. You might want to just save them for the contest. Um, well, I mean, they can repost it there. I mean, you, they yeah. can post them now and then post it as an entry later. That's fine. Uh, Raphael wants to know, a full set costs around 900 Would it be better to go full set instead or buy singles? That's tough because it's so chase-heavy, but not fully chase-heavy. So, I mean, you probably are right to go with the full 900 and you could probably make your money back or more. But... I don't know how much everything else is really gonna cost. Like, there's a lot of not great stuff in this set <laughs> that you don't want. Like that every would probably be hard to get rid of. Like the super rares, Marquise and High Evolutionary, I think are the only ones. Maybe a Watu because everyone loves a Watu. Yeah. Are the only ones I see being above twenty to twenty five dollars for a while. Um, everything else outside of the prime, obviously. I just see being below that. Maybe yeah, maybe sure. with the objects will elevate some, like Blackbeard, Silver Sage. They may get a little bit of a bump because they come with objects, even though they may not be great objects. Um, but I don't know. Where can, it, I get a, where, can, where can I get this full set for $900? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's... I mean, I'm still pumped about the set. I'm pumped about all this stuff. It's just, it makes you really think about it from a meta standpoint if you're not a collector like i'm not a collector tyler's not a collector for sure um dan is a collector so for me i'm only interested in getting meta pieces because that's all i really want to pay and those are what i dish out and <laughs> use for trade so for me it's like all right b tier up is all i'm really interested in maybe some c if i'm like going hard into Fantastic Four or hard into sidekicks. But I'm only looking at B and up for what I really want. Because I know... And purchasing, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, all the commons and uncommons, you're going to get a ton of those anyway from sealed stuff you buy. So, but, like, all the rares, Kristoff, Diablo, like, I'm, I'm not going for those. I mean, yeah. if I pull one, I'll try to trade the rare prime, sure. But, oh, he, he posted where you could do it. Oh. Oh snap! I'm on it first. Oh, it's it's up. It's been raised. It's a thousand nineteen. Only one in stock. Ah, uh, too slow. Oh, yep. <laughs> too much. Sorry, I'll go right. buy five k. I'll go buy my four cases instead of pop culture. Yeah. Show. But hey, just for those that aren't aware, there are people already posting stuff on eBay because apparent because obviously everyone already got stuff early as evidence of all the early reveals that we've gotten. So, I mean, like I said, I got those two legacy cards for cheap, for, well, relatively cheap. So definitely go out and check out eBay and all of that stuff now. The set drops on Wednesday, weather pending. Um, yeah. Yeah. Some people, because mail was closed today, and so it's coming tomorrow, but may not be. So, uh, so Yeah. Anything else you guys want to talk about, or you good? No. Nope. Uh, thanks, thanks, everybody, for uh, watching our tier maker. Tyler, you finish it out. This is your thing. Um, thanks, everybody, for watching our tier maker. 
<laughs> you know, post your own tier. It's it's fun to do, and like Alex said, it's a good guideline for you to see what you want from the set and what you don't. Um, and I guess keep watching Click Stop if you want to. <laughs> You're so convincing. You're yeah, yeah. If you feel like it. No, no pressure or anything. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right, That's see you. in charge of marketing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, everybody. See you guys.